Moogly and motherfucking Moogly. Just hanging out, doing a little maxing, relaxing. Waiting for our newest fearless leader to perhaps have a press conference. Just curious what's going on with the country. A month and a half and no word. Doesn't want to take questions and shit like that. A little strange. We got one fucking president who doesn't shut the fuck up. Talks about all sorts of fucking insane, crazy shit. Now you got another one who barely even opens his mouth. And when he does, he sounds like fucking Mushmouth from fucking Fat Albert. Jeez, fuck. Talk about fucking extremism. Only in America, motherfuckers. Anyway, while I'm waiting around and just fucking off. Well, who am I kidding? I'm never fucking off, but... I am involved in another... Uh, study type thing. This is a another computer generated. I don't know. It's sort of like a uh, a mindful mental. I don't know what you want to call it. Um. It's a mental well-being program at the University of Delaware where they teach you relaxation techniques of different forms of breathing, which is sort of funny because I just did a, vi a video on breathing. And, you know, the last one I did was on um, uh, meditation and things of that nature. They're dealing with people with depression and they're finding out what your anxiety levels are and things of that nature. Rather interesting, I must admit. You know, it's, I don't really feel as if I have much anxiety. I'm just typically always you know, high strung. It's just it's, it's what I am. And talk about sadness and they give you, uh, you know, you answer questions and things of that nature. I mean, you check it out. You tell me what you think. Yeah, you tell me what you think. Brother, it doesn't seem bad. Just, I don't know. What do you think?
that it is easy to focus on things that you're worried about? One way to take a break from negative thoughts and to improve your mood is to practice guided imagery. Guided imagery draws upon sensory experiences and one's imagination to elicit a calmer, more relaxed state. It's free to practice and can be done from anywhere. During this exercise, you will be guided on a peaceful imagery journey through a beautiful field of sunflowers on a pleasant summer day. You may find that some of the images bring a deeper state of comfort and relaxation, while others may not. See if it's possible to just go along with the guided images, knowing that at any point should you wish, you may also redirect your attention to something else. Begin by finding a comfortable, quiet place where you will not be interrupted for a few minutes. You can close your eyes or dim the lights and lower your gaze. It's all yogi shit here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's begin. Do this every clip. Imagine yourself outside on a pleasant summer afternoon. The sky is a deep blue color with puffy white clouds floating about. The sun is comfortably shining, but it's not too hot, occasionally finding itself behind a passing cloud. A pleasant, gentle summer breeze is felt on the cheeks and forehead, making the outside temperature and environment as comfortable as it can be. This is a safe and peaceful place. Now imagine yourself slowly moving along a smooth paved pathway that borders a wide open field of bright yellow sunflowers in full bloom. The sunflowers are planted in thick rows that fill the field to the horizon. Each row made of sunflowers that have grown taller and stronger than the one before. The path you are on leads you down in between rows of golden sunflowers. And you take a moment to pause and notice the vivid bright colors of the petals. The perfect roundness of the center of each flower. And the fuzzy texture of the brownish green leaves. Up close you can see that no two flowers are exactly the same. In the distance, you notice a honeybee searching for nectar, disappearing into the abyss of golden petals. As you continue down the path, you notice a light breeze brushes against your face, and you take a comfortable breath. The pleasant aroma of this field contains a mixture of subtle, sweet fragrances of flowers, grass, and soil. The flowers are taller than you, and the breeze feels pleasantly cool in the shade. You can hear the breeze lightly rustling the leaves, and you notice the faint sounds of birds chirping nearby. You continue down the path to a clearing where you now notice the warmth of the sunlight on your face and head. You close your eyes and tilt your head skyward to take in the light and warmth of the sun. As you continue to breathe in the fresh air, you feel your eyes relax and a faint smile comes to your face. As the warm breeze washes over your skin and through your hair, you feel your neck and jaw relax as if the breeze is blowing away any tension from your body. Feeling refreshed, you make your way to the end of a row and turn back the way you came. You notice the sunlight is different from this angle and you see hundreds of sunflowers in a new way. So similar yet so unique. In this moment, you feel very much at peace. 
as you travel out of the sunflower field, back to where you started. Take a moment to savor and enjoy this feeling of peace and relaxation, knowing that you may take this feeling with you and that you may return to this field in your mind's eye whenever you wish. In fact, you may notice that the next time you bring up these images, the feelings of peace and relaxation may be experienced even more deeply and may last for longer periods of time. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes and bring your attention back to your current surroundings. Did you enjoy this guided imagery? Remember, you can replay this video anytime you'd like to return to this field of sunflowers to relax and reset. What? Right. I'm expanding my fucking horizons, all right? Becoming in touch with my fucking inner being. Fucking my mindfulness. Yeah, maybe you don't think, you know, uh, with all this fucking meditation and shit like that, that's, you know, that's not really me or something like that. Well, go fuck yourself. Yes, it is. I've been doing fucking breathing fucking exercise now for, I don't know, how long? Seven years? Ten years? I've been doing it before fucking all, before I was all fucked up. Meditation, on the other hand, I like to get lost in deep fucking thought because, you know, I'm that fucking guy and all. Alright. Fuck all that noise. Now, this is just another try. This is just another study I found myself involved in. It's rather interesting. Not exactly my cup of tea. Once again, I'm trying to get into something a little bit more physical. But because these cocksucking fucking lockdowns are fucking me hard, and I'm not getting any fucking communication back from the, the fucking people in power, which is pissing me right the fuck off. Ooh, that's why I need my fucking meditation, bitches. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'm fucking meditating, right? So I don't blow a fucking fuse. Now, I don't understand about the anxiety score, and I don't understand about the sadness score. I do get the whole thing with the meditation. You know, there are some people that are really fucked up, and they rather find themselves in the pit of despair. <clears throat> if anybody's ever watched Princess Bride, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If anybody's ever really watched Princess Bride, you realize that if it wasn't for fucking Andre the Giant, that movie wouldn't have been worth shit. That mine. It's another one of the long line of studies that I get myself involved in. What <coughs> the oh, fuck? <coughs> Maybe it's the Rona, man. Two videos, two different studies that I find myself involved in. One's cognition. This one is mindfulness. I'm learning how to be a more calm person. I'm learning how to control myself. My my. My, my inner thoughts and fucking being and all my fucking function is becoming much more level-headed and, I'm, and I'm, I'm making strides to broaden my fucking horizons. It's fucking windy out here. Goddamn drop dead gorgeous. Fuck off, I'll be in touch. Be mindful. Oh. Out, bitches. <laughs>